بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ ہو از دا موسٹ بینیفیشنٹ اینڈ دا موسٹ مرسیفل ٹوڈے ہو ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا لائکوما اینڈ دا لائکو سارکوما مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر فخر حیات وی آر واچنگ آور یوٹیوب چینل میڈیکو سیور ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس دا ٹو تھنگس نمبر ون از دا لائکوما ادر از دا لائکو سارکوما لائکوما اوما مینس دا کینسر اینڈ دا لائکوما مینس دا کینسر آف دا لپڈ and the sarcoma means the cancer which is the malignant and li uh, lipo means the lipid carcinoma of the lipid is called as the lipoma or the liposarcoma on the basis of their benign and malignant in case of the lipoma it is a benign but in case of the liposarcoma which is a malignant uh, in this case we will discuss about the lipoma Many I have discussed is the lipoma is the lump under the skin. This is our skin and behind the skin it is the present lipoma. But it is above the muscles. Above the muscles and beneath the skin is the uh, lipoma. There is a lipoma. This is lipoma, lipoma and lipoma. In this case uh, this is the hand of the patient and there is a lipoma. This is the benign tumor and non-cancerous growth. It is not hazardous, but if in the case of the painful or it is growing slowly, it may be removed surgically. Uh, mainly, what are the causes? Causes are unknown, uh, but some uh, causes are the inherited causes. Inherited, but the most important is the Gardner syndrome. In this case, the rarely cause is the made lung disease. Other is the Cordon syndrome and all other are the causes. Mainly the cause is the inherited. Lipoma, it may occur to the all age groups, mainly children, does not occur rarely, common on the neck, shoulder, arm, thigh, wherever in the body. It is a benign tumors and tumors of the fatty tissue. Here I will discuss the, these are the uh, fatty cells, these are the, this is the cytoplasm and periphery, the nucleus is present on the peripheral part. This is why it is called as a signet ring appearance. Fatty cells are the signet ring appearance because they contain uh, the nuclei on the lateral side uh, and there is a cytoplasm because of the accumulation of the fatty acid. Uh, in this classification, uh, on the basis of their histological type, this is a superficial subcutaneous lipoma. On the superficial and on the cutaneous side, but on the subcutaneous side. Other is the adenolipoma. What are the meat by the adenolipoma? Adeno is the mainly gland. Lipoma means the lipid accumulation. Mainly accumulation of the lipid, but it involves the gland. Which type of the gland? Sweat gland. This is the eccrine sweat gland. Is the adenolipoma? The name represent adeno or the uh, gland. Other is the angiolipoleomyoma. Uh, Angio means the blood vessels. Lipid means uh, the lipid leomyoma is a smooth muscle means involving the blood vessels smooth muscles and accumulation of the fat is called as the angiolipo uh, lipoleomyoma other is the angiolipoma etiology uh, and the pathophysiology i will discuss about the two potential explanation number one is the post traumatic pseudolipomas or the pre adipocytes uh, the most important about the pathophysiology is that it is the formation of the mature adipocytes. Adipocytes are mature and uh, they are mainly, it occurs in the form of the lobules, lobules like, lobules like and separated by their fibrous septa. This is the pathophysiology. Uh, mainly, uh, this is the rearrangement of the chromosome 12 and TDI3 genes. The mainly mutation in the genetic form and gene is the DDIT3 genes and role in the uh, undifferentiation. Genetic cause may, may be here this is the chromosome number 12 and uh, here this is the translocation on the chromosome number 12 Q and the interstitial deletion of 13 Q rearrangements this is not so much important but uh, I have to discuss the genetic cause and the familial call, cause is the most important cause of the lipoma or the liposarcoma risk factor may be uh, if a person is obese 
uh, if a person is obese or the high cholesterol or the may patient of the diabetes and the liver disease or the glucose intolerance may increase the risk of the lipoma this is the lipoma and this is the soft oval shape and the lump just beneath the skin and above the smooth muscle and beneath the skin and deep lipoma may place pressure or internal organ sometimes lipoma is so much aggravated that it can be deeply innervated sometimes if it is uh, innervated in the abdomen it can deeply innervated into the abdominal areas and may lead to the nausea vomiting and the constipation like symptoms this is the clinical feature and this is a mainly uh, lipoma uh, i will discuss with you the lipoma or the cyst formation in case of the lipoma because lipoma consists of the lipid and if there is a pressure on it lipoma moves because of the fat layer but in case of the cyst lipoma does not in case of the cyst there is a uh, if there is a uh, abscess formation and there is a keratin accumulation and the cyst is present it do not move there is a differentiation of the lipoma and the uh, cyst if there is a movable uh, it is called lipoma if it is not movable this is called as a cyst this is the lipoma here you see here uh, lipoma and this is the mainly overgrowing and beneath the skin and above the muscles and it is movable because of the fat layer this is a, a yellow uh, cross description in case of the cross description i will discuss you the it is completely covered by the capsule because it if it is completely covered by the capsule it cannot metastasize to the other area that's why it's called as a benign and grizzly cut surface because of the uh, fat is a yellow and on the cross morphology it appears as the yellow homogeneous fat this is the lobulated and this is the capsule it is inside the capsule always and this is also well encapsulated but uh, this is this picture i want to show you the most important uh, the microscopic features these are the lobules these are lobules one lobules other lobules and other lobules these lobules are separated by the fibrous septa these are the fibrous septa and there is accumulation of the uh, fat there is a accumulation of the fat or the adipose tissue here these are the adipose tissue and uh, these lobules are separated by the fibrous septa this is the clinical differentiation lipoma this is the mainly other is the here it is the mainly uh, fatty and this is the congested blood vessel on the physical examination sometimes biopsy ultrasound mri or the ct scan but physical examination is necessary because if it is movable then you may uh, predict this is the lipoma not a cyst other is the liposarcoma what is the liposarcoma if it is a malignant that arise in the fat cell it is called as a liposarcoma most common occurs in all soft tissue sarcoma mainly occurs in the bone and the soft tissue but important is the fat accumulation of the fat here this is the etiology or the pathogenesis is the unknown uh, the most important i will discuss is the types of liposarcoma this is one is the well differentiated maxoid round cell pleomorphic these three types are. in the next slide i will discuss here this is the well differentiated liposarcoma d differentiated liposarcoma mixoid liposarcoma round cell and the pleomorphic why it's the name mixoid because mixoid there are two things if i want to see on the microscope there is a stroma normal stroma is present in this form in this light but mixoid stroma are the blue purple appearance that's why it's called as a mixoid liposarcoma round cells liposarcoma round cells are uh, present in the pleomorphic uh, uh, liposarcoma different shapes of the cells these are the most important if you differentiate number one is the well differentiated other is a de differentiated third is a mixoid i have discussed mixoid round cells if round cells are present if in case of the pleomorphic liposarcoma different types of the shape or the structure risk factor risk factor may be the family history 
damage to the lymphatic system if damage to the lymphatic system it can move toward from lymphatics to the other areas and some sometimes it's a toxic chemical such as vinyl chloride is the major cause of the liposarcoma pathophysiology maybe if it is a cancer then always in the cancer you may predict it is a gene mutation it is the gene mutation of the reciprocal translocation reciprocal translocation occurs between the 12 and 16 and promotes cell cycle proliferation if there is a proliferation of the cell cycle there is a increased in the formation of the fat and it can lead to the metastasis area Pleomorphic uh, liposarcoma is a mutation in the like uh, p53 gene suppressor p53 gene nf1 and uh, rhabdo um, rb1 gene clinical features it is a painful or swelling in case of the b9 it was not uh, such a painful uh, painless but in case of the liposarcoma it is a painful and a weakness in the arm and the constipation why constipation if it moves toward the GID system and uh, and uh, mortality of the GID decreases that can lead to the constipation bloody vomiting if it moves toward our uh, GID system it can lead to the these symptoms this is the liposarcoma of the big toe here this is a big toe and the liposarcoma liposarcoma with the gel lobulated cut surface this is the most important liposarcoma this is a malignant and this is the atypical spindle cells formation but uh, this is not so much important investigation is the most important imagining test in the in case of the x-ray CT scan but the most important sarcoma in case of, if it is a benign or a malignant most important investigation is the biopsy if you take on the biopsy we you can differentiate what type of the uh, carcinoma or what type of the benign it is present that we all discuss thank you so much we have discussed the uh, lipoma and the liposarcoma in the detail Thank you so much Sagal Allah is please like and subscribe our channel Medicos Fever and remember us in your prayers Allah is.